So we have a very difficult decision to make here. And again, this could take as many attempts. I really don't know. I'll demonstrate the power of the elegant bird Pokemon. All right, let's do it, Faulkner. You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. All right, I guess I can also choose of whether I want this encounter too, right? Butterfree, go! All right, guys, we are about to start a new journey, the Radical Red Nuzlocke, and we are doing this live on twitch.tv slash adrive. Before I go any further, I know some people are gonna say, adrive, I thought you did Radical Red. We were doing it, I beat eight gyms, but it wasn't a Nuzlocke, it was just a regular playthrough. I lost the save file, and truthfully, I lost a little bit of interest in the series because I like Nuzlocke because they're challenging. They keep me engaged, they keep me on my toes. This game is really hard. For those who don't know, this game is insanely hard. In fact, I think my buddy Shady Penguin, who inspired me to do this, I think he's on attempt number 27. It's, it's no joke. This is like the serious business. I don't even know if we can beat it, but we're gonna certainly give it a shot because I like a challenge. I got the rules above us. Let's, let's recap them super quick, right? If a Pokemon faints, it has to be boxed. Simple as that. If it faints any time, no exceptions. Most recent sub or sub giver will pick the nickname. That's just a Twitch thing. So if you're here, you guys can you guys can do that. Uh, we catch the first Pokemon on each route we encounter. That includes raids. I have to repel to get to the raid dens. If we white out, the run is over. We start over and then it becomes attempt number two. Dupes are optional. If I find a dupe, I can choose to catch it or not. Statting encounters are extra encounters. So if I catch a Pokemon on, on route three, but there's a static on route three as well, I get two encounters essentially. Shiny Claws is allowed. If I find a Shiny, I can catch it, but I have to sacrifice something in my PC or in my party to allow me to keep that Shiny. Very simple. And I do allow myself to change the clock if I want to specifically aim for a night counter. Encounter, I don't think I'm going to be doing that too much, but it's just an option that I wanted to have. And uh, I think that's the gist. For those who don't know, Rattle, Radical Red is one of the hardest uh, kind of modified versions of fan Pokemon games ever. It features mega evolutions, tons of bosses. It's insane. Uh, G-Max Pokemon become mega. It's it's just nuts. It is absolutely nuts. So we're gonna jump into it. We are gonna Nuzlocke this. It is default on set battle style. And, uh, and, and uh, you can't use potions in battle. There's also level caps. So if you see that on the screen, the level cap is just to indicate that's the highest level you can go before you, um, you know, before you, uh, you, like, you stop gaining XP, pretty much. You get, like, one HP, or XP if you're at the level cap for that area. I have a bunch of documents on my computer that give me a lot of notes. What Pokemon, or what trainers have in battle, what moves they have, what items they have, ex etc. A lot of information. I am gonna use it. I'm gonna probably try my first attempt to not use it as much, but I have a feeling we're gonna need it. So I have a lot of notes, guys, and that's gonna be one of the ways we're gonna try to get through this because this game really is that hard. That's not a joke, it's really that hard. So let's get it going. A-Drive is my name, and I think we can get it started. This is my rival. I'm gonna name him Marvin, of course. Marvin, our number one cheer, give sub giver of all time on our channel. We gotta give the name to Marvin, my man. And let's hope that Marvin does not destroy us many, many times. Let's do it, my friends. If you see this on YouTube after the fact, I have no idea what I'm doing for uploading this because if I lose so fast, like, I may have to, I don't know what's gonna happen. But enjoy the ride. This may be a few months long. Let's do it. <laughs> it's going down, my friends. And there is speed up as well, as you can see, which we'll try not to use unless it's grind season. So I'll grab that potion. It's unsaved while Pokemon live in tall grass. Oh my God, I remember seeing this scene as a, as a seven-year-old team. So we have a very difficult decision to make here. And again, this could take as many attempts. I really don't know. I think I want to try Squirtle the first time, I think. Because Squirtle, I feel like, feels like a really good bet. There's not a lot of water types early game. We're likely to get some, some grass types through the forest. I'm thinking Squirtle is gonna be, gonna be the play. That's Charmander, we don't want that. Let's do it, and I have officially selected it. It is gonna go to Callum. Callum, you get to choose the nickname. Okay, so the, the nickname we have chosen is Luca. That was the name chosen. All right, man, well, let's get it going. We're gonna take on Marvin and his Bulbasaur right out the gates. I guess this isn't too big of a deal. We can we can just kind of beat this up. Luca doing things, baby. And like I said, if you're the person who gets the nickname, you can name it, you know, whatever you want within the confines of it being appropriate. Now, again, it, we don't have Pokeballs yet, I don't think, so. So Luca and I are going on our journey and I go super fast. Oh my God, okay, let's see. Do I have to do any options? Battle style is automatically set, so it doesn't matter. So I don't I don't think I have Pokeballs yet, right? Because I have to do Oak's little package. I'm just making sure I don't mess this up. All right, so I'm gonna grab the parcel. Should we be good to go? 
head on down to Professor. All right, I got your parcel, bro. You can take it. Here you go. All right, and now we gotta get our Pokedex, obviously. You already know we need our Pokedex. And we'll get that, and then we can go get our first encounter once we get Pokeballs, and then things start right now. That's when, that's when the, uh, you know, the run begins, my friends. This is gonna be crazy, guys. This is gonna be crazy. The Nuzlocke has officially begun. First encounter of the playthrough! Anyway, let's do it. And it is a Pidgey! That's what I get. I get a female Pidgey as my first encounter, so that's... And it's got Frisk, so it found our berry. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna just tackle. And I caught it, and A.S. Anderson was our most recent sub at the time of me catching it. Call it Burb. Okay, we're gonna call it Burb, all caps. I want everyone to welcome Burb to the team. Thank you, Burb. Everyone say hi, Burb. Money, we have to be mindful of here, especially early game. It's not something that you, you wanna just, you know, spend frivolously. I'm gonna grab some of that. Um, I don't know if antidotes kill you right out the gates, I'm not sure how, or uh, if poison kills you. I'm just gonna, they made potions cheaper in this game as well, which is nice as you can see. Uh, oh yeah, this guy is actually gonna hook it up and give me the old rod. So I've got the old rod, thank you Nanta, which means I get an encounter here in, in Viridian. I like the way you guys think. All right, let's see what we got. First encounter for Viridian is a Slowpoke, okay. If I realized that I was gonna get all these water types, I might have made a different decision, but I'll take, I'll take, oh, he is bulky. He's a bulky boy. Three and captured. So, Havoc, you get to nickname this Pokemon, this Slowpoke Havoc. What's up, Craig? Pastel, thank you so much for the love. What do you got for me? I'll wait and see, and he's gonna call it Dopey. Havoc calls it Dopey as the name. It's one of the dwarves, I guess. This'll be Dopey. Honestly, Physically attacking Slowking is the play here. It's got Curse, Yawn, Tap, wow. Pretty interesting moveset. Curse, very valuable early game. Actually, Curse in general, very valuable. All right. Uh, I have Docs. I'm gonna try not to use them too much, but I do have them. A Tentacool, a female Tentacool. All right, I'm, a, I'm honestly about this. This is, a, this is a great set of encounters for our first two gyms, really. And Patrick, you get to nickname this one, Patrick. Squidward, all right, Squidward. Let's add it to the team. Okay, Route 22. I obviously am not gonna use a water encounter here. I could. I think that that would be very dumb if I used a water encounter. Here we go. It is a Mankey. Honestly though, considering what we're doing first for the gym, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. And we got him. Little Dewey is gonna have the nickname on this one. Little Dewey, let me know. Darthea, thanks for the love. Kongat, I want you guys to everyone say hi, Kongat. Okay. And I am not going north in this patch of grass anytime soon. That seems like a mistake. I need to just train, I think, before I really do anything. Because I do want to continue and like battle my rival who usually pops up right there, but we are not prepared for that yet. Okay, so we have a route two encounter. I guess we'll snag this real quick. There's a there's this guy. I am a drive. What's up, man? You're one of Oak's aides. What's up, dude? And I'm gonna get the Dex Nav. That's right, in this game you can Dex Nav to uh, not only Shiny Hunt, but to also like specifically hunt like Audinos and stuff. I, we can't really Dex Nav. So who's ready for our encounter? Let's get it. Let's just do it. It is gonna be a Squovet. <laughs> okay, we got a Squovet. Let's chip away at it. Uh, thank you, Gangy, for the nickname Cheek Er. Okay, let me just snag the sprite of this. Well, we could have had a rock rough. Like how? How are they gonna just say, yeah, you could have a rock rough, bro? Like what? All right, well, I'm gonna battle the first of the kind of main challenges, which is our rival. I think we're gonna be okay, because I obviously grinded quite a bit. I'll put Luca in the front. There is Marvin. Hey, A Drive, you're up for the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through. All right, let's see what you got for me. Ooh, he's got two Pokemon. And he kicks it off with a Starling. Level nine, what's up, Sniper? And this should do a good chunk. Luca don't care! Luca does big things, picks up the first KO there. Thank you, Matt, for the love. And we are gonna go to level 11. Uh, now what do I wanna do? It is gonna be Bulbasaur. Now remember, guys, I, I it's set battle style. I don't get to choose that, and I don't have any way uh, to, whatchamacallit, 
It's just what it is. Obviously, Burb is the play. I'm gonna go Squidward first to confuse him. And I wanna see what this thing does. I think I can live any hit anyway. Let's see what he does. He's gonna growl, I don't care about that. I'm gonna Super Sonic again. He's gonna heal a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go into Burb. Gonna get a lot harder from here. But uh, we do beat, we do beat Marvin, which is always nice. Am I going to Viridian Forest? I am. I'm counting Raid Dens as the route, but maybe we should change the Raid Dens to Static, but I get my encounter first. All right, let's get our encounter then and see what we got here. All right, our encounter here in Viridian Forest. And don't forget our most recent sub or gift sub giver gets to nickname it. A Caterpie. All right, well, at least it's really close to evolving already. Okay, um, listen, Butterfree with Compound Eyes is very good. Okay, so we got a Caterpie named Amethyst. I'm gonna go and grab it and swap out the little school vet, because I just don't really feel like that's necessary on the team right now. All right, Amethyst is gonna evolve, and it's a Metapod now. Oh, snap! There should be a Joltik somewhere here. Okay, I didn't realize that he was right here. Uh, I might have just choked already. All right, well, I guess I'm battling Brendan. Chat's supposed to be helping me and telling me when to stop. No one told me anything. <laughs> I believe. Uh, well, I can't heal now, guys. It's too late now. I'm already in the battle. Just hang in there, Amethyst. Just get these bug bites off. Do your thing. All right, and we'll get hit with a vice grip. And we'll tackle again. All right. He's got a Trico. Yeah, so it's level eight, though. I think this is the same thing where Squidward could probably beat it just fine. So let's go Squidward. Oh, we beat him so easily. I, I very much so prepared uh, those early levels. What's up, Jace? Thank you so much. Grabbing those early levels were definitely worthwhile. We're good. And he's gonna hook us up with the experience share. Uh, and then we get the stat scanner, which allows us to see the EVs and IVs of a Pokemon on our party. And Brennan's gonna head out of here. So the next uh, big opponent for us is... We have to face Brock and we have to face Faulkner. And Amethyst is going to evolve, which is very good. Yo, Butterfree's about to be hyped though. Butterfree's about to be hyped though. It's a good pickup. Thank you, Jace, for the uh, 29 months, man. Very strong Pokemon, obviously. Learns Gust, which is Stab. Uh, we don't have Rock Smash yet, so we can't do anything there. There's a Grubbin, you love to see it. Amethyst gets a level. And then I think that's it for Viridian. I really probably should be pretty thorough about checking everything. This is a continuation of Route 2, so we do not get an encounter there. There is a Mega Stone there for later. And we are now in Pewter, so let's take a peek around, make sure I don't miss anything. We have, like, I have to figure out how do I deal with, with, uh, we have Brock and we have Faulkner, is the two people we gotta face that are, like, the big opponents. I think Faulkner's in the museum, if I'm not mistaken. Before I trigger the Faulkner fight, does anyone know where Faulkner is so I don't accidentally do this? Oh, this guy gives me an egg. 5,000 bucks, I don't have 5,000 bucks, okay. So, so I gotta get to level 15 before I, I really even bother. I, I might as well hit level cap at this point, I think is the best bet. Okay, um, here's the deal guys. This is gonna be very challenging. Um, okay, this is gonna be very hard. This is gonna be very hard. This is our first like real hard boss fight. T-Spikes is Faulkner, dude. Everything's flying type. I think I lead with Dopey. I think Dopey's very bulky. It's a good Pokemon to lead with. Um, I think I leave with Dopey. I think Cheeks gets the Orenberry. Didn't they give me a bunch of Orenberries or no? Okay, Cheekers is really the one who can use it. So here's the deal. We're gonna face off against the Wingle, Amolga, and Corvus Squire. The biggest thing is gonna be that Amolga is gonna be very tough for us to beat. Um, just because I don't really have a good team for that. Like the best thing that beats it is Cheekers. Otherwise, then we gotta deal with a Corvus Squire, which is gonna be very strong as well. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna wanna save Luca for the Corvus Squire. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, a little nervous. I feel like I'm about to get wrecked. I think we have a good team for Brock, but I feel like this is gonna be rough. And there's Faulkner waiting to destroy our soul. He's just waiting. He's sitting there and he's thinking to himself, I'm gonna put in the work. All right, wish me luck. There doesn't seem to be any information on Mega Stones. Oh, hi there, I'm Faulkner, gym leader from Johto. I'm traveling in Kanto for information on Mega Evolution but I found nothing so far. A battle is what you're looking for? I guess I could spare the time. I'll demonstrate the power of the elegant bird Pokemon. All right, let's do it, Faulkner. Dopey's out here doing things. And Dopey, we're clicking Confusion. He's gonna Air Cutter. Air Cutter is a high crit move, which is very scary because of it, but we take no damage from that, so that's really good. 
And our confusion does a solid chunk, and we land a confusion right out the gates. Wingle and Amolga have sleep talk. If he hits himself a confusion, that would be massive. He does not, he roosts. Okay. I believe that Dopey can live one hit here. Does anyone think that I should not leave Dopey in against an Amolga? I think that Dopey can live one confu one Thundershock here. The problem is, I don't have everything on my team is weak to this. So I only get one chance to go into Cheekers, guys. I just want you guys to know this. I have one chance to go into Cheekers. And if I don't get it right, we're in a lot of trouble. I believe that Dopey can live a hit. I do. I'm, I, I really believe that Dopey can live a hit. I'm gonna go for Confusion. If I lose Dopey, it's my play. I believe I can live this hit. Easy! Easy! Easy lives! Easy lives! Okay, now I have to switch. I have to go Cheekers now. Okay, you gotta go Cheekers. And Cheekers, I just hope that you are very bulky, Cheekers. You need to be very bulky right now. That's pretty bulky, Cheekers. Air Cutter's very scary because of the crits. Okay, Cheek Pouch probably gets me to full. So nice, dude! Cheekers! Cheekers, baby! All right, okay, he's got a berry too. He's got a berry too. All right, here comes an air cutter. Come on, Cheeks. Oh, there's the crit! Cheekers! Cheekers! 25 to what? Eight, oh boy. Here's where things get real sketch. My best play is Squidward. You can't potion in battle. I think the best play is Squidward. Squidward comes in, takes the air cutter, lives a thunderbolt but that's very risky. So I either sack something to get the free sit switch into Squidward. Squidward is my best way at this point to try to, to try to beat. If Burb has quick attack, I'm about to make that play. It does have quick attack. What, what HP is this thing at? I'm going for that. I'm going for that play. I'm going to predict the air cutter. I'm going Burb and I'm going to quick attack. Oh God. Oh, Burb eats that! Burb eats that for breakfast! Go on, Burb! He predicted me, he really said. He really said, all right. I'm gonna quick attack. I'm faster because of the quick attack. And we beat the Amolga, all right! That was very solid, very solid. It is a Corvus Squire. Now, I can't eat berries, oh, that's kind of sketch. I think I can live one hit from him, so I'm gonna gust. I think I can live one hit from him. Okay, we live that, that's good, very good. Now, I obviously have to switch out. Someone's gotta take a hit here. I need a free switch into Luka to have a chance here, in my opinion. I'm thinking I'm gonna sack off Burb here, just go for quick attack. Get the free switch into Luka so I can start firing off water guns. Sorry, Burb. I'm going for quick attack. And I get a crit, which is nice. And he is gonna go down. Burb, our first fallen member of the playthrough, does indeed go down. I think it was the right decision though, because I, this thing is a problem. He aerial aces. 100%, I had to make that play. I had to make that play, because our berry's not gonna activate. He's got a berry, I 100%, I don't even, I'm not even convinced we win this now, guys. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even convinced we win this yet. I can only take one more. I need, oh, Torrent, Torrent, Torrent! 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 Yes! Luca's ability, Torrent, comes in hot. Gives us the extra damage we need, and Luca beats the Corvus Squire, which, by the way, had Roos. I was petrified. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. That was a good battle. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good situation. And let's see if he gave me any money. I have five thousand bucks. I have the money. Let's get it. I'm getting this egg. We're gonna hatch it and see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys. Wish me luck. Don't forget the most recent uh, sub gets to name it. And it's a Toxel! Batman, you get to name it. Callum, thanks for the love as well. Batman, female Toxel, what are you thinking, bro? We're gonna name it Batgirl. Da -na 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 -na. Batgirl. And Batgirl is a naughty nature. And it's electric and poison. Three perfect stats. Has Klutz as its ability. Not sure how to feel about that. What makes this thing evolve? Does anyone know? I don't see any reason why I keep it on the team for now. But let's jump into the gym and let's see. I'll probably have to heal after the first two trainers anyway. All right, so it seems to be your first gym challenge. I'm gonna be responsible of telling you about the removes. 
You can't use accuracy reducing moves, baton pass, and there's a sleep clause. You can only put one thing to sleep at a time. Oko moves are removed, and you can't use your bag. There's a soft level cap, which we've already hit for every Pokemon. And if you level them too much, you can't go any, you, you know, they won't listen to you. Uh, and then consumable held items come back after trainer battles, and then you're stuck on set, and you can't thief items from trainer. You're automatically healed to full in most boss battles to prevent certain exploits. So, that's the deal. I think, I think low kicking is, is very solid here. I think we just low kick everything. Um, yeah, that's gonna be good there. And here comes Drillbur. Now, Drillbur actually, um, isn't even a steel type yet, so... Okay, so that's exactly what we wanted. I actually don't even need to heal. I'm fine to just battle Brock. So, again, this is a Nuzlocke, guys. If Pokemon face, it's it. So we're just gonna do it. He leads off with a Lolan Geodude. We know this. I think Kongat is my lead. I think once Kongat uh, does its job, hopefully beats the Geodude, then we go Squidward. We can set up Toxic Spikes, which seems a little unnecessary. That's the issue. Like, I would love to get Toxic Spikes up early, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I actually don't think I even bother setting up Toxic Spikes. I think if that Vulpix is in front of me with Squidward, I think I'm legitimately just clicking. Uh, I think we gotta click Water Gun. So you're here on Brock, I'm Buter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. All right. Let's do it. Geodude, as we said, and it is the Alolan variant, which means it does have uh, electric moves. Uh, we just click low kick. Uh, that doesn't even do that much. Uh, he KOs me with Spark. He KOs me with Spark. I think my play is Karate Chop, but I think he KOs me with Spark. He switches it out into what, Vulpix? He goes into Onyx? And Karate Chop does some damage. Um, if he bulldozes me, I actually think I live it. I'm gonna low kick. I think I live a bulldoze. No, I don't live a bulldoze! Okay. Well, there you go. Kong Ed goes down, second death of the playthrough. Okay, I think I go Luka. I think I click Water Gun here. Right? I think I, I, I think I 100% click Water Gun here. Okay, uh, Bubble, rather. Although withdraw is really solid, we're just gonna click bubble. He bu he's fast, he's so fast. Okay, that's fine though, that's fine. All right, we're gonna bubble. All right, we beat, we beat his ace, his onyx is down. That was his ace. That was one of the biggest things we had to deal with. It's gonna be geodude again. I wanna believe I'm faster and I can beat him right now with bubble. Like I wanna believe that. I wanna believe I'm faster and that I one shot him with bubble, but is that worth the risk? I ha oh, I did have a speed drop. I did have a speed drop. Okay. The issue is I don't really have another option here. I really don't have another option right now. I'm thinking I gotta go Cheekers, but Cheekers is gonna do very little. Um, uh, and I can't get a Cheek Pouch up. There's no way, but I think Cheekers is my safest play right now. And he does a tremendous amount of damage. Um, I think I go for Bite. I'm faster, a flinch would be huge right now. I don't get it, he's gonna rock to him, which knocks, he crits me as well, of course. I get a speed drop, which now means I cannot flinch. I will get some berry love, and I will get cheek pouch love. So I can live one more hit. He's gonna spark again. And now I'm gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna have to sack off, I think I gotta sack off cheekers. I'm gonna go for one more bite and hope I live. I don't want, oh, he paralyzes me too. Ah, uh, that's not enough. Okay, I gotta decide, do I sack off Cheekers? Or do I sack something else off here? I think I sack off Cheekers. I really think I sack off Cheekers, which is unfortunate. Obviously, I could come in and outspeed with Squidward. We would assume Squidward is gonna be fast than Alolan Geodude. Squidward's pretty fast, so I, I, I make that assumption that I'll outspeed, especially with a few levels. You guys are telling me to sack a mine that's sitting there with full health that could actually help us win this battle. Listen, I'm I'm making the play that's gonna get us through the battle, all right? I'm letting Cheekers go down. I am gonna assume that Squidward is faster here. Squidward is 27 speed. Luka was 21 and was outsped, right? Now, who did I lead with? I led with Kongat. Kongat was faster at 28. So I'm assuming, 
Kong Ao was faster at the beginning of the battle, right? He went for Bulldoze. So Squidward should be faster. Now I need to... Now I need to beat the Vulpix. And the Vulpix is... I think Squidward can beat the Vulpix. I do. I think Squidward can beat the Vulpix. Our play here is Water Gun, and he can't hit us super effectively. He's gonna burn our berry, but he can't He can't hit us super effectively. The big thing is, I believe he has Ominous Wind, and if he gets a boost, we're gonna lose. He's gonna berry. Aw, oh, dude, we're good. First gym down, baby, let's go. Let's go. A-Drop Army, let's go. Squidward wall, baby, walled them. All right, word, got through it. Woo! All right, first gym down. We now have Rock Tomb. Our next level cap does go up to 27 now is the level cap, 27. See, there's a massive level jump. Um, we'll grab Batgirl onto the team. And this guy's gonna catch us here. And what do you got for me? Your mother doesn't love you in this game. What's up, Cameron? Thanks for five. And we get the Dynamax band. So we can indeed Dynamax. And I think what we want to do here is this is one of the the rules that I had originally set, and then you guys were telling me that I should change it, and I'm not really sure what I want to do about that. But let's get these encounters real quick, or let's battle these trainers. I, I don't think they'll be too bad. I think we'll probably be alright. I should probably be careful, but we should be okay. Tell me how I kind of get wrecked by Joltik. <laughs> and Luca's evolving, baby, let's get it. We got Luca evolving right now, which is a big upgrade, getting that war turtle. All right, Chad is saying Shady's been doing it as the route encounter. All right, Shady's been doing it as the route encounter. I'll stick to, I'll stick to Shady's ruling. I kind of based a lot of my rules off of his. I talked to him last night. You think PC does it as a route encounter as well? All right, we're gonna count it as a route encounter and that'll be the, that'll be the decision. That's what I've decided. That's what we were planning to do anyway, so let's keep it that way. Uh, <laughs> this is where things get really sketch. It's like, uh, I don't really have a way to beat this thing. My team is very, very, like, one-dimensional right now. So he's gonna T-wave me. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw down a repel because I don't want to get an encounter in the grass. Okay, so we have our first raid den. I have not gotten an encounter because I have a repel down. I guess I can also choose of whether I want this encounter too, right? So mine is what seems to be Galarian Meowth, right? That's Galarian Meowth. I think that Galarian Meowth is worth taking over the random grass encounter. I do. I think it's pretty easy. Cause you have you get to Dynamax and it is a uh, Meowth, Galarian Meowth at level 20. Okay. So it's gonna be Dynamax. <laughs> a storm started brewing and I, I get to Dynamax as well. I don't know what the button is to Dynamax. Does anyone know what the button is to Dynamax? Is it X? Okay, so I think I wanna go for max darkness to drop his special defense. I don't wanna set up the rain because Combuskin might go for a fire move, so let's do that. Yeah, so he just did, he just did half damage to him right away. And I break the barrier at least, and some damage there. He gets a special def or defense drop, his defense drops. He's gonna max steel spike, but I resist. We eat that up. We eat that up, okay. And we will catch this thing and then nickname him. Nailed it. All right, Matt Craft, what do you got for a nickname, bro? Fired at us in the chat for this Galarian Meowth. What's up, Reaper? Dubs, keeping it simple. All right, big dubs. And we get a Parasimberry for confusion. And then let's go grab that, uh, our, our friend Dubs here. This guy can sell me a Magikarp. It's a static encounter. We're gonna take it. That's so weird that it didn't come to my party. All right, so here's a level five Magikarp. All right, nickname, uh, Constant Dubs, you're our most recent sub still, so what do you got for me, Dubs? Poseidon, all right, I don't pick the names. 75,000 bucks, I think he gives you the shiny one if you pay the 75 grand. Doesn't have to worry about berries, honestly a good pickup in general, I think this is a very worthwhile Pokemon. So I'm definitely adding Dubs to the team. Poseidon is gonna be really good, I mean, that's the thing, like how do you, how do you not take a, 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 a Gyarados, right? It feels very worthwhile. It feels very worthwhile to have him on the team. So, I think we box. I like Dopey. I like Dopey as a Pokemon that can take on uh, Starmie, right? Because what does Misty have? Let's, let me look. I think we leave Poseidon in the box for now and then add it later. But there he is. He, 
<laughs> He's a funny looking bro. So I feel like he could be really good for us though. So I'm all about him. We could head into the rock tunnel. Now I'm pretty sure, or not the rock tunnel, but you know what I mean, Mount Moon. 